Breaking news: The four dark deities have crossed the Great Shah border and are now invading our territory. Please head straight to underground bunker. Warning: The four dark deities are slaughtering ruthlessly. Please go to nearest shelter. How dare these idiots attack Great Shah? Well, I'm in charge. Legend has it that the Night Dragon Sky Coffin, divine artifact charting the destiny of Grisha, is at the bottom of this lake. Eastern Empire will rise to the top if we take it. <laughs> the Grisha is with the books of a hot romance. Don't shoot me. Army Kama. Night Dragon Sky Coffin, Yang Yurich. Dao Set, Buddhist Set, and Word God Temple. The minor sects I once advised have now grown into the top forces of this world. You guys are merely insects. Arrogant. Stupid. You think you got what it takes to beat us? <laughs> Farewell. Hey, how dare you say that? You pass. Get out of there! This is not a place for a deliver guy. <laughs> Here we have another insect. <laughs> Fine. Then let my blame feast on your blood. Yeah! What? What up, Hiri? That was so. What is that? Impossible. I want your dad. Come for us, Lord Yamata. It's a power no mere mortal can withstand. Great shell is doomed now. Beauty, can I borrow your sword? What are you planning to do? This sword now holds one ten thousands of my imperial power. Can you handle that? Such unparalleled divine power. Who, who is he? Power sent someone, someone to find, find out. out. <sighs> Over time again. There goes thirty dollars from my bonus this month. Who are you? What do you want? We are your fiance. Here today to call up the engagements. My fiancés? I already have fiancés. Oh, I got it. You're descendants of the Night Clans, but why call off the engagement? You don't need to know that. All you have to do is tear up the marriage contract your grandfather left you. Apparently, you Night Clans have no idea what the contract. Forget about the Dragon Coffin story. A hundred years ago, your grandfather fooled our ancestors. But you can't fool us now. Is that so? Torch, uh, wake up! What's happening here? You are right, young man. Here, have some hot porridge. You saved me. Yes. Yes. Then, as thanks. I grant you the power to defy fate. With to us being so poor, could we really change our fate? Really? Immortal! Immortal! Night immortal. dragons appear, seal demons and bestial blessing upon the night clans for three generations. But oh, oh. Oh, oh, this is immortal. Seamus, aura dragon. Queen, curling dragon, chase, sea dragon, rise the pinnacle of wealth, prospering through trade, rise the pinnacle of power, commanding armies to victory, rise the pinnacle of martial prowess, cultivating immortality. Thank you, immortal. Thank you, immortal. The other six of you, though not destined for the pinnacle, will still be outstanding in the world. Thank you, Thank immortal. You immortal. <gasps>
Where did he go? Remember, your marriage contract is the vessel of your destiny. Do not break it. Otherwise, the dragon seal will break, reversing your face and destroying everything you have. Are you saying these nine marriage contracts were created by you, the mortal, to repay our ancestral kindness and tearing them apart would do us? <laughs> Seems like you don't believe me. We believe. None of your nonsense. My Mona Simons have led the Simons claim to become the top group in the Eastern Province, owing billions of sets. According to you, all of this is thanks to some coffin. Are you out of your mind? I asked Delaquin, have fought on the frontiers, earning countless honors. Now I've gained the recognition of Flame Dragon War God, and about to become Great Shot's only female War God. Are you suggesting this is also due to the coffin's blessing? I, Chloe Chase, started cultivating at 6, becoming the youngest disciple in my sect by 16. Now I'm favored by the leader of Dao Sect, and about to become the Sentis. Do you mean... This is the coffee's doing as well? You're right. The fortunes, opportunities, and strategies you all process are indeed thanks to me. Ridiculous. Ignorant. Nonsense. Lies. You liar. You and your ancestor truly share the trait of being scammers. I beg your pardon? You lack even the most basic martial arts skills. It is simply not realistic for you to have survived from a hundred years ago to the present. It's clear you are lying. Give me the marriage contract. As compensation, I'm giving you 15 million dollars. Enough to cover your expenses for the rest of your life. As I've said, if you break the contract, you will face dire consequences due to the reversal of fate. However, out of respect for your ancestors, my advice to you is to put an end to this drama and go home. What exactly do you want? You're getting this marriage annulled, whether you like it or not. I'm Mona Simons, as we know, a businesswoman. My partner should be able to match my ambition and help me build a business empire. And you are just a pathetic deliver boy. This marriage is unilaterally cancelled by my client. Alright, does not concern himself with the opinion of sheep. As a general, I cannot marry someone as mediocre as you. The queen family is also calling of this marriage. You are the most powerful of them all. What's your take? I, Clay Chase, am about to become the sentence of our sect. Even if I were to marry, I would have to be with an outstanding martial artist. Someone of exceptional talent. You, a mere mortal, are not worthy. The Chase clan is calling off this marriage too. The Wemberg. The Davis. The Rivers. The Shown. It's, it's calling off this marriage. marriage. We have already cancelled this marriage. Where's the so-called reversal and the consequences you mentioned? Why has it... Suddenly started snowing? You don't snowfall typical at this time of year? Well, since we're breaking off the marriage, might as well. And once it and for all, save me another trip. Rest assured, at today's Dragon Slaying Feast, the Jane Slaying will surely annul the marriage. Feast? For what? No harm in telling you. To completely rid our nine claims of the ridiculous rumors that have plugged us for nearly a century. Today, we've specially organized this event to sever our ties with that dragon coffin thing once and for all. It also tells the world our nine claims' rise come from great in its friends, not silly fairy tales. Well, well. You're doing a splendid job. What, what? did you say? I said, you're sealing your fate well. Contract's gone, consequences in three days. Still time to fix it. But smash the dragon status, there's no turning back. Still spouting nonsense, when it's all said and done. Alex, shut up, and figure out how many deliveries it will take to afford a flat. <laughs> That's right, your words cannot change anything. I'm up to my sect. Girls, see you at the feast tonight. Alright. I must return to Tempo. I will leave the preps to missing monks. Don't worry. Young master, here you are. So this is your fiance, a delivery boy. Rest assured, the marriage contract is already torn. My heart will always be with you. Oh, let me introduce you. The third son of the dragon claim, the wealthiest in Great Sha. Their influence spans globally with immense power. August is the most outstanding among the younger generation, and is the designated here. You're not even qualified to hold a candle. He's a loser, Mona. Calling off this marriage is the best decision you've ever made in your life, because only the Drago clan can promise the brightest future for the Simmons clan. I know that, Alexiker. You can crawl back to your sewer. 
and carry on with your pathetic, hopeless life. <laughs> Let's go. Impressive, the Nightclads, daring to define heavens and dragons. I will lend you a hand at your so-called feast as a warning. The bad news, Miss, of the night eight have called off the marriage contracts. You are the last one. What? They're planning some feast to destroy the dragons completely. The night dragons granted our clans a century of prosperity to find heaven. Are they mad? Miss Ford, do me a favor. <sighs> Miss, you're no time to explain. I must stop and add a feast. Remember, bring that thing to me. Honor to meet you, Mrs. Moore, Abbot Vanity, and Warren Zachary. Mr. Drago, any news on the Deliver Boy? Mrs. Moore, yes, his name is Alex Yeager. However, why would masters like you go through such lengths for a Delivery Boy? How dare you? That was a peerless hero who slayed three demons with a single sword strike. Slayed three demons? Weren't the three demons taken down by the three of you? We couldn't even withstand one of their moves. If it weren't for his help, we would probably have fallen by now. Then, Alex Yeager's strength is way beyond my comprehension. His swordsmanship seems to embody a touch of a primitive sense of doubt. They're only the founder of the Dao's Hexmasters. Yet even, he pales in comparison to Yeager's power. His moves echo the ancient Buddhist sense chants, like... No, his swordsmanship vast enough to blanket the sky appears to have a shared ancestry with the legendary founder of our war god temple. Regardless of his identity, he's a supreme master we must all respect. Today, the Dao sect will prepare a generous gift and pay him a Buddhist visit. Buddhist sect too. So will the war god temple. <laughs> it's hard to believe that the three greatest sects all revere Alex Yeager above all. I seem to have heard his name before. Whatever, Drago clan must also prepare gifts and establish tie with this hero. Mr. Simmons, your family business is thriving! First carrying the project worth 10 billion, then launching a maritime fleet carrying goods worth 100 billion. Once these projects are completed, Mona will lead your clan to become a top-tier financial group in Great Shah. Truly established as a commercial giant! Mr. Queen, I'm flattered. All of this is thanks to Master Dragon. True. Serving the Dragon is an honor. Hi. All we did was provide a platform. It's all Mona's own merit. By the way, Mr. Queen Stella has gained the favor of Flame Dragon War God. She will soon become War Godness. That is truly a great achievement. Mr. Simmons, that's not fair. We have expertise in different areas. It's natural that our achievements vary. However, it must be said that Chloe is truly impressive. Sentence of the Dalsak. She has extraordinary talents for sure. She still has a long journey ahead. In terms of background and influence, the dragon claim remains the most powerful. Well, here's to the young master. Here! Unite under the dragon clan! The nine clans are destined to reach the pinnacle of glory! You won't even see tomorrow. Land of long glory. How dare you! Insult the nine noble clans! Alex Yeager, how dare you show up here? I can go wherever I want. You are the descendant of that charlatan. Apparently, you're just a nobody. Your ancestor welded dragons to alert fate, yet couldn't make you look decent. Dad, he's just a deliver guy. He's nothing but a low life. I'm quite impressed that a low life like you could even make it here. But alas, brave yet utterly senseless. Truly pitiful. Today's Dragon Slaying Feast is attended not only by the Nine Great Clans, but also by the nation's elite, such as the Dragon Clan, the Wargar Temple, and Thousand. You're merely a nobody. What right do you have to stand there? This is the province's grandest banquet, where the top angelists gather. And here you are, spouting nonsense. You have a death wish, don't you? You disrespected deity, ended marriage, and now defy the heavens. Slay dragons. Seems like you guys are courting death. Boy, those delivery orders must have got your brain messed up. In great shot, nobody dares challenge the dragon clan or lay a finger on my girl. Your wish for death will be fulfilled once Rosalie arrives and cancels the marriage with you. 
I, Rosalind James, will never end this marriage. I, Rosalind James, will never end this marriage. Rosalind, why are you wearing a wedding dress today? I'm here to fulfill marriage contract. From now on, I'm your wife. With this ring on, we will be together forever. He's quite handsome. Not a bad deal. I'm getting married, Rosalind. With the ancestral spirits and witnesses, do you realize what you're doing? Of course I do. But don't you realize this marriage is reversible and the statues are sacred? My grandfather always said the Night Clan thrived because of the blessing of the Night Dragons. Now. We are flourishing. We should show gratitude, honor our roots, not betray, and forsake them. Rosalind James, your claim is undoubtedly the weakest of us all, but your foolishness is truly unmatched. Believing such baseless fairy tales for generations is due to some kind of simple-minded loyalty to tradition, or you're simply being stupid. She's right. The rise of the Queen Clan was due to our own determination. Not some ridiculous dragon's fortune. Rosely, James, as the heiress to the Jane claim, don't be so obstinate. Otherwise, the eight of us will unite and ostracize your claim. You, you will regret this. Get her out. Shame on her. She. You think you can ostracize her? You're thinking too highly of yourselves. The Jane's clan values morality, repays kindness. They deserve the dragon's support. Well. You clans challenge dragons with disloyalty. Aren't you afraid of the karma getting you? Enough nonsense. If karma exists, come for my clan. Welcome, Dad. Dad, are you all right? Bring it on, Dad. Dad, are you all right? Alex Zager, are you the one behind this? Challenging the dragons, risk, annihilation. No rush. The judgment has just begun. Hmm? This is the dragon breath. I'm offering you one last chance. Honor the status with renews and nine bows before it dies to make amends for the contracts. I might consider resealing them back to the lake, or. Light eyes, luck ends, karma comes. You do. It actually lead itself. You truly have divine powers. Alex Zager, no more superstitious nonsense. It's the twenty-first century. All this talk of karma is bullshit. It's just the excuse you've concocted to marry into one of our nine distinguished clans. Mona, don't be too confident. If it weren't for your ancestors' kindness and good fortune, you wouldn't even catch my eye, given your demeanor. You seeking trouble? What did you say? Arrogant! How dare you? Since I've been in charge of the clan, nobody has ever disrespected my clan or the night clans like this. Brad, it was my heart condition acting up. Nothing serious. Are you expecting my clan to kneel and bow before these statues for your nonsense? Dream on. Good. The judgment starts with the Seamus clan. Then, a century ago, your ancestor was just a mere merchant struggling to make ends meet. Your clan gained its wealth through the Aura Dragon's power. Tell me, true or not? Ridiculous! How dare you discredit the efforts of three generations of my clan based on some dragon fairy tale? Brad, our clan's allied with Drago on three billion dollar projects. Thanks to Young Master, we nailed others worth a hundred billion. Our fleet extends globally. This has nothing to do with your Aura Dragon. With goods worth billions worldwide, property projects wrapping up, Seamus' wealth will skyrocket for sure. If this is the karma you mean, I'll take it several more times. Guys, look, dragon seems to be crying blood. 
Guys, look! Dragon! Seems to be crying blood! Is this really the karma getting us? Crying blood? That's just some pain he prepared in advance! Don't you fall for his despisable tricks! Brad, save your cheap tricks for your decreased scam artist, Master. Very well. Your clan has angered the Aura Dragon a business boom. Let's see if you can withstand the three wrath of the Aura Dragon. The first wrath. Wealth vanishes. Buildings crumble. It's falling apart. Run! You mean my buildings will disappear overnight? Decades of business gone in a flash. You think you are king of heaven? Dad, I think he's out of his mind. Completely lost in his fantasies. An absolutely living joke. Alex, don't underestimate them. There's still a chance to turn things around. Maybe we should leave for now. Look! The tablet seems to have cracked! Calm down. The best part is yet to come. The second wrath. End of fortune. Endless chaos. Help! Still playing God? Today, in front of the ancestral spirits of Simon Claims, I will slay the so-called dragon. Let's see what you'll conjure up next. I strongly advise you not to do that. Or the Seamus clan will instantly turn to smoke and dust. <laughs> Let's see then. Sir! Disaster! Seamus building have all collapsed. What? What? Sir, miss, this is disastrous. Our ship was hit by a massive tsunami. Goods with billions have sank to the sea spot. Are you kidding me? That's impossible. In just a few minutes, building collapsed and ship sank. You two must have been bribed to spread such ridiculous lies. Guards! Take these two scammers and lock them up. Miss! Uh, sir! Sir! Enough. Your clan is on the brink of doom. Stop struggling. I have revealed your schemes. It's you who are facing your doom. No! I have destroyed the marriage contract and beheaded the Aura Dragon. So, what can you do now? Any punishment? Or karma? The third wrath, annihilation, beyond redemption. Look! Tablet! Super's tablet exploded! What? Dad! Dad! <laughs> Dad! <sighs> What's happened to you? What is this? Get away! <laughs> Mr. Simmons, here's Daosek's elixir of life. To save you, the Drago clan has even brought out our most prized possessions. Master Drago, your generosity should never be forgotten by McLean. What goes around, comes around. Yet this bill merely delays the inevitable. You can't dodge death. Alex Yeager, you created this chaos, didn't you? You tampered with McLean's ancestral tablet. <sighs> and then poison my father, right? I haven't laid a finger on him, let alone poisoning. <laughs> As for your ancestor's tablet, I guess. Maybe it's your ancestor frustrated by your fools, venting his anger. Still sprouting nonsense! Brett, kneel down and apologize to us now, or I won't hesitate to cripple you today! Alex! We thought you were just blowing off steam. Turns out you'd risk other people's life to climb the social ladder! You're being despicable! Utterly ruthless and vile. Thank heavens I caught off our marriage. Otherwise, I can't imagine what wickedness I would have faced. Being engaged to you is the most disgusting thing I've ever experienced in my life. Everyone, don't offer him another chance. 
break his hands and legs, let him kneel here forever! To calm the anger of our eight clans! Guards! Take him! <laughs> Bunch of losers! Get out! Who are you exactly? You know martial arts? Save your pathetic clamness. Had it not been for this marriage contract, I wouldn't even spare you. Ignorant, pathetic, clowns, singleness. You, Alexander, stop twisting the truth here. <laughs> twisting truth for you. Stop kidding. You, Rambert. Community college hand out in bars and shady spots. You think your clan's deals were due to your efforts? That those bosses and CEOs were interested by your charms? You're so wrong. You you know this? If you doubt me, ask the guests here. See if there is anyone will vouch for you. Comforting, huh? And you, Lana. You haven't mastered even the basics of the Supreme Emperor Feast. How can you lead armies or win battles? Your so-called success are nothing but scraps, back from Stella Queen. It's a stretch to call you a fighter. You. All we have here is bunch of arrogant, hypocrites, cowardly, bullies, seeking fame by any means. You don't deserve to be called humans. Utterly shameless and senseless. Ridiculous. Even though your hypocrisy makes me sick, the debt I owe your ancestors is profound. I'm willing to offer another chance. Seamen slayed their dragon and sealed their fate beyond salvation. Yet it still has half the glow. Still a chance for redemption if you are willing to bow and repent. You can still thrive and remain at the pinnacle, like the Jains. What a spectacle, Alex Ager. You're just like Rosalie James, thinking too highly of yourself. You think just by digging up dirt on other clans and spouting few words will convince the eight claims here to buy into your lies? You're far too naive. True, though the younger generations of Wenben and Davis claims are not exceptional. The foundations of the claims firmly established through the dedicated efforts of the forefathers. Once we behead all the nine dragons, we'll see if he still dares to speak nonsense. Right, then we'll give a few kicks, showing that the success of the nine clans isn't built on deceitful schemes, nor on ancient rumors, but on our ancestors' hard work and our dedication. Really? Seaman's ancestor was a mere merchant. Your ancestor was just a dung carrier, doomed to a life of toil. Without the curling dragon, you got no chance to rise from the vast mountains, let alone achieving greatness or advancement. How dare you! And the chase! Your ancestors faced poverty and disadvantages. Your grandfather was mute. Grandmother deaf. All descendants faced disabilities, didn't they? It was the sea dragon that changed the your fortune, enabling you to pursue cultivation and defy fate. Or survival alone wouldn't be a struggle, let alone martial arts mastery. Nonsense! You clueless brat! You, you. Most needs over ten generations to achieve such success. Yet your clans did it in three, if not the support of the dragons. What? Without their protection, you'd be nothing more than ants, doomed to fall forever, stuck and struggle. While not all possess talent and power, yet integrity should not be abandoned. Time waits for no one. Kneel and back for mercy now, you might yet You keep saying that. Slaying the dragons is akin to cutting off our lifeline. But since the dragon was slain, the Simon Clans has remained safe. You really think you can make us kneel and apologize by resorting such despisable means? Dream on! In ten breaths, more punishment. For the Seamus, the total devastation. Sir, bad news. The accidents involving our fleet and the properties set off a financial chain reaction. Our stocks have hit rock bottom. What? Is this true? Yes, yes, miss. 
What? We're facing a debt crisis. Bankrupt. Assessor Homer gone? <sighs> Karma is getting us. Six breath left. Assets wrecked. Facing liquidation. So what? With the August drug, they will rise again anyway. Drago. Atlas Drago's clip. How dare you call my grandfather's full name? I mentioned your grandfather before you were even born. Three breaths left. As long as the head of the claim is still alive, the Simus claim won't fall right. apart. We've weathered many storms over the years. You and I together, with the support of August, our clan will indeed rise again. Lamp went out. You've missed your chance. Nonsense! <laughs> Dead! <gasps> Dead! Simos! Simos! <gasps> Dead! Sir! Dead! What happened to you? Simos! Mr. Kui! What's happened to my dad? Mona. I'm sorry. Mona. I'm sorry. <sighs> Dad! Dad! Wake up, please! How could this happen? I already fed him the elixir! What? What's going on? They bring this upon themselves. Leave them be. You killed my dad! And you obey! Mona, calm down. I already called my dad. He's on his way. No matter how bold this guy has been. Soon. He'll surely pay! Alright then. I'll just... Wait and see. Stella Pring, the work goddess, head off the Drago clan! Honey, you made it! My dad is here too! Honey, this brat not only disrupted the feast, insulted the night clans, but also killed Mr. Simmons. It's unforgivable! What? Dad! He first humiliated night clans, then claimed he mentored my grandfather, saying our Dragon Clan's success was all thanks to him! He was trying to provoke us, wasn't he? What an arrogant brat. You knew what you were doing? It doesn't matter. Anyway, do you think dragons above the whole world care about you lowly, worthless creatures? You are still acting tough! Don't bother with this dying. Mr. Simmons died of a heart attack and a sudden cerebral congestion. No poison found in his body. Impossible. My dad was not his prime. But he wouldn't just drop dead. He was him. He wasn't my dad. We will surely do justice for him. Mona, let him rest in peace. Miss, leave it to me. Gus. Alex Eager, confess now. Confess? Confess what? I've warned him multiple times, yet they persist heading towards their demise. His death was caused by the course, not by... You rascal! Stop making things up! Today... I will avenge my dad! Mona, I will make sure he pays for his crime. Kill him. You will face the same charge. Alex, I, the war goddess, sentence you to death! Sentence you to death! What war goddess? For a thousand years... The War God Temple has been sacred for nobles. Stella has ascended to deity status there. Incredible. The four deities of the temple are now well known for their prowess. The head, Zetri Chan, stands unparalleled, truly pinnacle among heroes. Honey, the coronation was supposed to be postponed, right? Dad, Flame Dragon has reported our achievements to Zachary Chan. Zachary Chan made an exception for me. Soon, Flame Dragon will conduct my carnation. Good, good, wonderful. From now, we are among the Honor Warrior Clans. What a great honor! <laughs> Son, I'm telling you, 
Stella Queen has been the only war goddess for decades. No small feat. Even we dragons must bond with her. Little brat, open your eyes and see. The war goddess earned her place through over ten years of fighting. It makes my clan's rise, our highest honor, not due to your curling dragon. Right. How could a damaged statue determine the fate of Stella Queen and the Queen claim? This is beyond ridiculous. My daughter is right. Stupid statue. Bye. The statue moved. Why would it move? Did Mr. Queen's words anger the curling dragon? Nonsense. It must be Jaeger's doing. Jaeger, save your dirty tricks and schemes. If you are that capable, revive them for us. Otherwise, in my mind, you are just clowning around. Coming. Curling dragon's wrath comes faster than aura dragons. Did you see that? He started making things up based on my daughter's words. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the drago intended no part in this conflict. But upon hearing from my son, this man slander against our leader. I had to defend our clan's honor. Mr. Drago, you're right. He claimed that the Drago claim owes its success all to his support of Master Drago. Everyone here has heard it. Right, Brett. Explain that to me now, or my clan will be the first to deal with you, no matter what. Alex, Master Drago is the founder of the Drago Group, known as the Godfather of Commerce. You can take on the Ace claim, but must not offend him. Godfather, sounds impressive. Do you have his number? Yes, but you call him. What? Did you hear what he said? And nobody from the lowest run of society dares make a call to the financial giant, the Godfather of Commerce. Are you out of your mind? You are embarrassing yourself, not satisfied with others, just offending us. You dare provoke the drunkards? Let him be. But a heads up. My grandpa has a bad temper. You could end up dead if you anger him. Tim, guards, seize him. Hey, goddess, leave him alone. I want to see what tricks he can pull. Ah? Huh? <laughs> Don't. You will be banished from this land if you offend Master Drago. Trust me. Make the call. I have my plans. I told you not to call me unless extreme emergency. You better have a good reason, dude. You've got ten minutes to fetch your son and grandson from the Dragon Slayer Feast, or I don't mind ripping your clan off the map. How dare you spout such nonsense to me? You must be. Wait, this voice. You, you are. Your Highness. Only ten minutes. It's your call. What exactly did those losers do? How dare you, mere mortals, mess up with His Highness? Guards, get the helicopter ready. Head straight to the feast. So this is what you wanted to say? Yes. Brilliant! What a show! I thought you have a backup plan. Turns out, you're just seeking death. I've heard Master Drango dislikes Testurban, yet you called him boldly and rudely, threatening to wipe his clan off the map. What awaits you is nothing but a dead end. The last one who spoke to my grandpa like this was the Tiger King, and now he's sunk to the bottom of the sea. Brad, I reckon you'll be meeting him very soon. Kid, I intended to save your dignity. Now seems you deserve to be cut to pieces. Dragon swordsman, assemble! Goddess, our swordsmen well trained, aren't they? Good. They are all skilled fighters. Each can defeat three to five opponents. Good. Then. The dragon will cut this ignorant fool to pieces with our mighty blades. Wait, Mr. Drago. Before that, let.
Let the Night Clan slay the dragon first, to declare the achievements of this feast. Right. Makes sense to me. Please. Stella, don't say I didn't worry you. A word godness like you can't handle the fallout of slaying dragons. Neither can the rest of you. You slay the dragon with sword. Chaos will follow, and what awaits you is death itself. And this is your final warning. Enough, Bishop Dumanglu. Your ghost stories don't work anymore. Alex, had you humbly accepted your broken engagement and faced misery? I might have helped, but now your chance is gone. The queen slays the dragon, putting an end to the rumors of the night dragons. Good. My daughter Chloe Chase is yet to arrive. I will slay the vermilion dragon on her behalf. Good. Today, the Chase Clan slays the dragon. The Wimberg slays the dragon. The Davis Clan. The Rivers Clan. The Shao Clan. The Quarter Clan slays the dragon. Today, eight of us have successfully slayed the dragons and dispelled a ridiculous rumor. From now on, we will shine even brighter. And you? All alone after all these dramas, had to watch helplessly as the dragon's heads fell. Rosalie James, hurry up and chop off this last dragon's head. Go on, go on. I'm sorry, I can't defy ancestral teachings. How dare you? As long as I'm here today, no one can harm her in the slightest. Really, Mr. Drango, the sword of judgment is all yours. Drago swordsman. Yes. With almighty blades, execute him! Knock it off! Knock it off! Father! Grandpa! He's actually here! Grandpa, why did you come here? What are you doing? Father, he insulted our clan. I was going to... Execute him. Right, Grandpa. This brat boasted that he mentored you, claiming the Drago owes its success to his guidance. Isn't that a colossal joke? Master Drago, have domained the business world for decades thanks to his grand vision, thanks to his exceptionally strategic mind. How could it be, as the brat said, credited to someone else, Master Drago? In my opinion. We should let your dragon swordsman skin him alive, one cut at a time. Atlas, did you hear that? They said they'd skin me alive. You know about this, kid? Still acting tough, huh? Fine. Soon I'll have the swordsman break your bones. See if you're still tough there. Brat, we're trying to revolt. Grandpa, what's this about? Don't call me that. I don't have a grandson like you, Dad. August did nothing wrong. Don't do this to him. You don't call me Dad either. If it weren't for your role leaving the clan, representing its honor, I'd have slapped you by now. Grandpa, have I offended some big shots? Tell me. I, Atlas, apologize for my son and grandson's offense to your highness. I'll leave their fate in your hands. Who are you exactly? It doesn't matter who I am. The thing is, like I said earlier, in this world, no one can lay a finger on you. Atlas, you've got quite the nerve. Atlas, you've got a quite the nerve. Today, at the dragon slaying feast, I told the night clans about the risks of ending the marriage and slaying the dragons. Fair, right? Yet your clan mixed into my business with the night. Your grandson, led astray by woman, sided with the Siemens and insulted me. And your son, cozying up to the Queen Clan, relied on swordsmen to kill me here. 
Now, with your son and grandson's motives clear, are you here to finish the job? To personally excuse the brat on behalf of the Dragon Clan? Huh? Your Highness, I had no such intention. My descendants were truly bewildered, courting death. Guards, take these two brats. What are doing, Dad? Don't you get it? Take them. <laughs> Let me go. Starting today, you two are expelled from the clan. Now, kneel and apologize to Mister Yeager. There might be a chance for you, Mister Yeager. Is this okay for you? Oh, dude, you're quite decisive, huh? Is this decisiveness that raised your clan to such heights? Mister Yeager is like second father to me. I've been looking for you for decades. Now that you've reappeared, anything within my clan's power, Mister Yeager, just say the word. I'm ready to do anything for you. All right, enough flattery. You've done a good job. You are spared. Get up. Thank you, Master Drago. Don't be fooled by Alex Eager. He's lying. You vixen! Shut up, Arts Smacker. <laughs> Mona. Is she the noble lady you fancy? You are defending this vixen, a disgrace to our clan. Telling you, from today, my clan severs ties with yours. We'll completely boycott all Simon's businesses in our territory. No, Master Drago. Please hear me out. Who dares to move? Kill. Master Drago, aren't you being too harsh? Claiming this Drago as second father without investigation, you've betrayed your children and even us, the Night Clans. You've gone too far. Who are you? The new War Guardians, Stella Queen. Thinking the War God Temple will scare me. If it were a few years back, you might have succeeded. But now, no way. I declare, from today, all the nine clans except the Jains will be blacklisted by the Drago Clan as eternal enemies. From today, all the nine clans except the Jains. Will be blacklisted by the Drago Clan as eternal enemies. Miss James, if you don't mind, from now on, your clan will be our only business partner. Guards, bring the contracts here. Two hundred office buildings worth billions, and a purchase order worth hundreds of billions. Due to the rush, this is all we could prepare. Going forward, my clan will fully support you in becoming a top tier clan. Not bad. You're spared. Thank you, Master Drago. You better think twice. The eight clans respect you, but we're not afraid of you. My clan is protected by War God Temple. Blacklisting my clan challenges the temple directly. Right? You think he can stand up to the temple for you? <laughs> my daughter Chloe Jays is about to become the saintess of Dao Sect. Even if your clan can suppress the A clans of the Eastern Province and the War God Temple, you won't stand a chance against the Dao Sect immortals. They have the power to completely overwhelm and destroy you, making them an unstoppable sweep and force. Grandpa, are you really going to risk our clan for Yeager? What? This is Alex Yeager. <laughs> Find it funny? Very funny. Your so-called powerful sword is mere fooling, holding high positions, yet completely clueless, boasting about conquering the world, just and streaming. That's what's funny. You're the one at the lowest rung. What right do you have to accuse us? Lowest rung. Well then, today I shall reveal my identity. Mister Yeager finally reveals his identity. Guards, bringing the thorn. Yes. Please ascend the thorn. Please ascend the throne. 
I am the Supreme Emperor, born to rule the world, slay immortals, banish demons. Heaven's fates are mine to command. You are unworthy as my foes, but if you insist, I will send you straight to hell's deepest lair. Chains broken, lamps out. Your paths to survival are gone. Cut the nonsense and fear mongering. If retribution was coming, I'd be here. Bad news, Smith. Our logistics warehouses are fire. We lost nearly half our assets. What? What's happening? Cause unknown. Luckily, our largest warehouse is safe. I'm leading the response. What's going on? Speak. Master disaster! Tiger Brigade was betrayed by Moes at the border. Our entire troops nearly wiped out. What? That's our class backbone. Only a few left. I'll lead them to break through now. John, <gasps> my daughter's done for. Destroy the dragon. Cut. This is speed retribution. I said, none of you can escape. The fun is just beginning. The fun is just beginning. Alex, forget about calling off the marriage. Just stop what you are doing. If the warehouses keep burning, our claim is doomed. That's right, honey. Our troops were perfectly fine. How could they be betrayed? What do we do? Alex, what on earth is happening? Damaging those eight stone status doomed your clans. Now you lose everything. This is the fate of your clans for ingratitude and betrayal. You, Alice Baker, you overestimate yourself. These are just two coincidental disasters. Really? Of course. Up to now, nothing has happened to my clan because we have the protection of the Dao sect. Your filthy hands can't touch my clan. What's happened? Speak up. Matt, disaster! Lightning within a hundred miles struck directly on our territory. Our treasure vault and asteroid are completely destroyed. Lightning with a hundred miles all struck directly on chase territory? That's all the nonsense. How could such a bizarre event even happen? Besides, if there really was lightning, you could ask the Dalsek Master to help. I did. The Master said it was out of his hand, calling it heavenly punishment. It's coming again. Hello? What did you say? How? How is? How? How is this possible? Uh, Alex, what did you do? How dare you say His Highness' name? It's him, terrifying. That. What? Son, remember this: oppose the War God Temple, Dao Sect, or the world. But never cross him again. For safety, just leave now. Go. What did I do? Ask yourselves. Your choices invite divine wrath. This is just you repeating what you saw. Retribution, heavenly punishment. I don't believe in those. Mona, have you forgotten how miserable the night clans used to be? Maybe you have, but I've always kept it in mind. I believe. Something is protecting and guiding us. My grandpa told me, "Those who obey dragons leave. The dragons, heaven's mandate, are sacred." I'm sure your ancestors have warmed you too. Mandate of heaven? Don't spout nonsense here. It's nothing but our ancestors being deceived by cheater. So, you tell me, why did the calamities hit you after the lamp extinguished? There aren't so many coincidences in this world until now. Do you still not believe, <laughs> Alex? No, Your Highness, I ended the marriage, all because of the Simmons. I never intended to do so. I never intended to do so. Wendy Wenberg. It's thanks to my claim that your client has reached its current position. You dared to betray me. Betray? No, I'm telling you, Mona. You eared and now face the consequences. Besides, your claim initiated all of this. Your, your Highness, Supreme Emperor, please spare the Davis claim. We were forced to do that. 
because of the Queen Clan. Lana, what do you mean? Word Goddess, you've seen it. This retribution is terrifying. My clan can withstand it. Please, Your Highness, spare the Shaolin clan. And Gordon clan. The Rivers clan, too. <laughs> spare you? Impossible. You were blessed, but ungrateful. Now, after disaster, you are now... You are now begging for mercy. You think it's a game? You've punished us. Can we just move on? Do you really have to be so relentless? It's not about my relentlessness. You clans failed to recognize whom your success comes from. You shot yourselves in the foot. You refused to give up until faced the bitter end. You refuse to give up until faced the bitter end. Alex, kneeling here and even calling you highness is the biggest concession we can make. I warn you, don't push too far. Alex Yeager. Supreme Envoy, don't you think too highly of yourself? Just because you wear the dragon robe? How dare you dishonor the Supreme Emperor! So what if we insult him? Your claim might be in his debt. But now, he's just basking in the support of you, Atlas Drago. The eight of us, yes, we won it today, but our foundation remains. Gathering a few hundred billion is still a piece of cake. Not to mention the World God Temple, and the yet to appear at this Chloe Chase. Even for the Drago, dealing with us is not as easy as you think. We, the nine claims, well, the eight claims now, are not pushovers who can be easily beat. Fine. Since you are so confident, see if you can withstand the dragon's wrath. Atlas Drago, you want to wage full war against the temple? Bring it on! My clan can handle it! Flame Dragon War God is here! Flame Dragon War God is here! <laughs> Greetings, War God! Stella Queen, great to the War God. You and I are both deities of the War God Temple. No need for formalities. What happened here? You seem displeased. What's with that cough? Do you recall our Queen's marriage contracts with that fraud? And he's that fraud's descendant. Our Night Queen's gathered for the Dragon Slaying Feast, but he disrupted and using dirty tricks against our interests. And even worse, I suspect him for treason. Hating enemies, harming our soldiers. What? What? Our Tiger Brigade abroad was betrayed by Moas, suffering heavy loss. And he had received news before I did. I cannot believe that he has nothing to do with this. Flame Dragon War God. My claim must have been plotted against by him as well. How is it possible for several buildings and dozens of ships to be destroyed at the same time? I suspect he is in league with foreign forces trying to seize the opportunity to retaliate against us. You're right. My clan has been doing international logistics. With the warehouses burned, the beneficiaries must be foreigners. Now that you mention it, my clan's accidents must have something to do with external enemies as well. Alex, right? Based on their statements, you are charged with collusion. Treason, rebellion, and revolt. You have ten seconds to kneel and face judgment. War God. I kindly advise you. Making such accusation could lead to overwhelming consequences. What are you? How what? dare you raise voice to the War God? Conclusion, treason, and rebellion. War God Temple has been around for centuries. It seems to have produced quite a few losers. My life has been one of integrity in Gritsha, my home and motherland. Your labels or attacks on my reputation don't concern me. But my integrity and dignity are non-negotiable. The work got temple, our guardian, must be fair and just. Do not let these deceitful claims blur loyalty and betrayal. Alex Aker, you're bringing this up on yourself. Flame Dragon War God, please look at this despisable demeanor. He is now blatantly challenging the War God Temple. Now I'm even more convinced that those disasters stem from his collusion with our enemies. Well, Alex Aker, I thought this whole spectacle was merely for profit. 
But unexpectedly, you, a villain, have gambled with the safety of our nation. I see your Beyonce. War God Temple offers you one last chance. Step down and face judgment. Otherwise, once I act, you shall have no chance to survive. I'll say it one last time. The retribution these claims faced is purely self-inflicted. They cut their own lifelines. That's all from me. But if War God Temple chooses ignorance, I won't hesitate to obliterate you too. Over the years, you're the only one dares to disrespect the temple. Good. Exegar, how dare you insulting the Flame Dragon War God today? Even with nine lives, you cannot avoid death. War God, please execute him immediately since he has disrespect the War God Temple. God Estella, I want to invoke the Judgment Order. Is that okay for you? I fully support using it against someone with such blatant lore. Disrespect and arrogance. The Judgment Order, one of the Heavenly Decree, can only be issued by the joint action of two War Gods. Anyone who receives that from the War God Temple is extremely evil. Now, Alex Eager is doomed. <laughs> Given that, all commanders, assemble! Execute traitor without delay. Open fire. Execute traitor without delay. Open Protect fire, Mr. Leader. Cheap tricks. Today. I, the War God, want to see your true abilities! Just a pushover. How dare you judge me with that weak strength? Brother! He... he could bully his bare-handed and defeat a War God. Is he evil human? Flame Dragon War God is a top tier martial artist, yet he lost to nobody. Damn! This man's inner strength is so profound. It's fake. It must be one of his tricks. Flame Dragon War God, what on earth happened? Since you are so stubborn, don't blame me for being ruthless. This is. Summoning order, above the judgment order. Calling the other three war gods! If we do not destroy this traitor, how can we keep our reputation? The four war gods of the war god temple are masters who can each defeat thousands of troops. Today, they're going together here. Aside from Master Shen, Miss Moore, and a few other experts, nobody could withstand a joint strike from the four war gods. Alex, you're doomed! Four war gods? Sounds pretty impressive. I just wonder if they come here, can they withstand my palm strike? What? Kid. I hope you'll remain as talkative as you are now. Three War Gods arrive! Earth Tiger War God of the South with unmatched Earth Power. Kira War God of the North is shining golden armor. Wind Eagle War God of the West with extraordinary power. Master, we've found Master Eager's location. He's at the feast hosted by the Night Clans. Good. And there now. Even a fraction of his guidance could significantly boost War God Temple's strength. Master, another thing. Your five disciples are also at the feast. What are they doing there? They're planning to execute Master Yeager for treason and rebelling. What? These audacious brats! Are they trying to drag our temple down? Quick, we must get to the temple in five minutes! Yes! Today, with the five war gods gathered at the feast, even if the king of heaven comes, he'd be struck down. Flame Dragon, you're wounded. Gods set up by a scoundrel. No big deal. Today, with all war gods gathered here, any Dragon Clan attempt to overthrow us will be crushed by our united strength. You need here. Apologize to me and Stella Quinn, to all the clans present here, or. You will be completely destroyed. 
completely destroy me. You are not qualified. What? If Flame Dragon isn't qualified, then what about me? Earth Tiger War God of the Southern Domain? No. Interesting. Then add me, Commander of the Wind Eagle Army. Does that qualify for you? And me, the leader of the Four War Gods, ruler of the Northern Plains. Still not qualified. You're just ants to me. I can end you now. Alex, Alex. The Four War Gods command armies, guarding their realms. By provoking them, are you challenging the heavens? <laughs> Am I? Not really. Stella, this guy's totally beyond safe. If he wants to die so badly, let's grant his wish. The simultaneous action of the forward gods truly is the one in sentry sight. Prepare to be Turan! Stand down! Stop! Who dares act recklessly? Huh. Who are you? The four war gods are all here. If you... Silence! Apologize for falling to salute master upon rival. Greetings, master. master! Don't call me that! I don't have disciples like you! Master, what has happened? What? Master! I, Zachary Chan, apologize for my rude disciples. Zachary Chan, do you remember your temple's founding purpose? I do. Recite it. Today, one wrong word. The word God Temple loses all justification for existing. Today, one wrong word. The word God Temple loses all justification for existing. Alex, this is the head of the word God Temple, the pinnacle of martial arts. And you dare disrespect him? Silence! Stella. Say another word. I'll expel you from the temple. Master. My patience is thin. Starting now. The founder of the temple set principles for all warriors of the temple. Strive for excellence humbly. Embody martyr spirit. Guard nation. Build defense. Secure great wall. Uphold righteousness. Maintain world peace. Humbly. Guard nation. Build defense. Righteousness. You recited them correctly. But have you fulfilled them? Has the Word God Temple fulfilled them? Stella Queen, the new Word Godness, held as a talent, yet forgets her roots amidst her success. Do such actions reflect the excellence your Word God Temple strives for? Mr. Yeager, could there be some misunderstanding? <laughs> Is there? This guy, as one of the four war gods, should have been impartial and unbiased. Yet, to curry favor with Stella Queen, he believed her lies and accused me of treason. Without any evidence, he attempted to execute me on the spot using firearms. What? If I were just an ordinary defenseless person, I would have been killed by his gunfire before proving my innocence. This is called a misunderstanding. Mr. Yeager, it was all my fault. Master, why? That's exactly what you deserve. Clouded by a woman. No wonder you favor Stella. You were swayed by her. The three of them ignored the truth, acted ruthlessly against me. Believing that their work god status and the temple's reputation gave them the right to oppress your lawless and presumptuous actions just to resemble those of bullies and oppressors contradict the righteousness and peacekeeping work gods should anybody. <laughs> You are not worthy. Goodness. Am I dreaming? Quick, pinch me. This guy is judging the war gods. Master, please ignore his absurd nonsense. Back them. Our clans were tricked by a fraud into ridiculous marriage contracts. Today, we are hosting the feast to expose those lines. I see nothing wrong with this. The Twelve Dragons, 
I'm blessed. Was nothing but a total shame. Master, I'm sure you won't believe in such nonsense either. And, and my accusation is undeniably true. How else would he know about spies in my army? He must be working with them. Exposing the spies will unrival his lies for sure. He is not just a traitor, but also a murderer. He killed my father. Please, Master Jane, don't let him deceive you. Master, it's all out in the open now. Please see the truth. Please, Please see, see the, the truth. truth. Since you are so certain, then let me reveal the truth to you. The ID? It handles all treason cases. Beyond even the war gods reach. Mr. Yeager, may I disclose the truth? Sure. I too want to know what the truth is. Master, there's a crucial update from the ID. The Queen Army's betrayal case is resolved. The Moors are captured. Fill me in. On every detail. Yes, the Moro who conspired with the enemy are Stella Queen's personal guards. James and Kevin, who are also her cousins. Master, we've sent you video footage as testimony for the case. Please play the video. Play the video. You two, as Queen Army officers, took money from the Eastern Empire and betrayed us. Why did you do this? It's just some money. What's the big deal? Besides, those grunts weren't worth much anyway. <laughs> exactly. You know who we are? Our cousin is work on the Stella Queen. You've got ten seconds to let us go. When my cousin gets here, you are a dead woman. <laughs> you better release me now, or my cousin will kill you. Drag them away. They are beyond saving. Lock these traitors in the prison's deepest cell forever. Also, order all men to probe into the Queen Army thoroughly. Understood! Stella, they are the only children of your uncle and aunt. You must find a way to save them. Master, you must have misunderstood. My cousins are both upright and kind. They couldn't have done this. It's him! Colluding with our enemy! Exactly! It's him! Enough! Shut up! Now! Shut up! Arrest this man right now! M Master Chen, why arrest me? Master Chen, my father was not involved in any battlefield matters. Why arrest him? Really? Well, look for yourself. Take a good look. Your father, though not active on the battlefield, has not been shy about using your fame to gain power and act tyrannic. Our evidence shows at least half of your family engaged in unethical practices for significant illegal profits. Now they have been taken into custody. Dad! Why did you do this? Stella, I was just confused. Please back Master Chan for mercy or our class doomed! Stella! Oh, take it in! Yes, Stella! Help me! Master Chan, please! Have mercy! Bear me! Stella Queen. Your self-satisfaction, arrogance, and nepotism are disgraceful. You've committed heinous crimes from now on. You were expelled from the War God Temple! No! This can't be real! Master! Though Stella failed to discipline her family, her achievements on the battlefield are genuine! You can't nullify her efforts just because of some nobody! Brut! You think you can get away with this? I will confiscate your War God tokens! For one year, you cannot exercise any workout rights. First thing, apologize to Mr. Jaeger. They reflect on your sins. I won't! Even if he's not a traitor, he's just a nobody from the lower round of society, laughing with power of power. What right does he have to suppress me? And why should I kneel and apologize to him? I fold my whole life, earning merits under your command. If you order reflection, no complaints. But I would never kneel to a wick. I feel the same. I will never, ever apologize to him. I, Twin Eagle, 
have had a countless past like him. He's a nobody. You disgraceful disciples. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Master, we mean no disrespect to you. Just speak the truth. And let's struggle! What's so funny? I'm laughing because even now, you are still a bunch of helpless fools. So tell me then, which great clan is he the heir to? Or perhaps, a genius from Top Sect? No need to detail who he is. Just know, he's not someone you can mess with. <laughs> Since you make him sound so mysterious, he must at least be a peerless master. If he can take a palm strike from me, I will be on my knees. Earth Tiger, think before you speak. Master Chen, if I didn't have that kind of confidence, what was the point of all my fight? I'll back Earth Tiger. If you survive his palm strike, I'll need an apology. You dare to bet? Don't worry. If the four war gods use this pretext to finish him, there's still room to manure with Master Chen. Well, you talk a big game, yet you can't even take one bomb strike. I'll tell, don't you? Fine. Today, I'll take this soul coat bet. But I don't want to waste my time. Come together. Today, I'll take this soul coat bet. But I don't want to waste my time. Come together. You are asking for it. Then consider it done. Sword, rise. Flame Dragon Fist, Azure Dragon Blade, Wave Sifting Set. Sword, roll. Sword, fall. This is it. This is it! One reaps what one sows. Now scrap! The forward laws couldn't withstand a single move. Mr. Ying, may I ask you a question? What ties do you have to our war god Tempo's founder? The founder? You're talking about Percy, right? Exactly. That's Lord Percival. You know him? Back then I was in Everfrost. I saw Percy guarding the border alone, facing the siege of four foreign deities, unyielding. I felt this lad had a good soul. I taught him my Supreme Emperor's sword techniques, first volume. This technique is the cornerstone of our work of Temple. The Founder made his name throughout the world for this. It actually... came from you. No big deal. Warriors of Forgot Temple! From now on, Mr. Jaeger is the new head of Forgot Temple. Everyone must unconditionally obey all orders from him. Are you dead for something? Answer me! Yes! Are you dead for something? Answer me! Yes! This is the token. Rest assured, I won't let my wrath affect the innocent within the work God temple. No, Master, please accept. This is a demand left by the founding warlord, and it's a principle essential for all war God temple leaders. The founding warlord once said, only those granted the supreme sword can truly elevate the temple to its highest glory. So, please accept this, the token. It is an honor for the temple to be at your service. Fight. Zachary Chan greets your highness. Your highness! No way. It's impossible. I declare, from today on, Dragonclan recognizes Mr. Jaeger as Supreme Dragon Emperor, granting him our resources indefinitely. Dragonclan, you got it? Got it! Got it! What? What is this all about? The Dragon Clan. Greet your highness. Greet your highness! <sighs> you too. Well, get up. Thank you. Thank you! Thank you! 
Warlord Zachary, shouldn't we deal with those who dare to insult His Highness? <laughs> Indeed. Warriors of the War God Temple, immediately arrest these troublemakers! Yes! <gasps> Careful! Capture all these ungrateful troublemakers! We're done. The dragon and the temple are teaming up against us. We stand no chance. It's a dead end! Monastella, what do we do now? I have no idea. Look, it was you two who wanted to call off the marriage in the first place. It's come to this now. You've got to fix it. Exactly. Had I known Alex would become the head of the Word God Temple and the Supreme Dragon Empire, I would never have called off the marriage. This is your fault. You've doomed us all! <laughs> hey, when I was first proposed, you all were enthusiastically in favor! Now you're playing innocent with me? We didn't expect things to escalate this far. You two can go to hell. Don't count me! Exactly! I'm out! Let's go, 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 go! Don't you forget, you also joined the slaying the dragon! With Alex being addicted nature, do you think he'd let you off? You! Enough! Shut up! Don't you forget that. My daughter is the saintess of Thousand. Your dragon clan teamed up with the word god temple. So what? The power of secular world is nothing in the face of Thousand. <laughs> you realize what power you are up against? Take that! I'd like to see who dares to make a move. I'd like to see who dares to make a move. Sweetheart, you made it just in time, or else your mom and eight claims would have been killed by this villain. Mom, what's going on here? Saying this, this Alex Eager somehow bewitched both the Dragon Clay and the War God Temple, and intends to use their forces to annihilate us. Utterly ruthless. Really? Atlas Dragon, Zachary Chen, aren't you aware he's our clan's enemy? No, nor do we care. Our warrior's duty is to obey orders. How dare you speak to those like this like that? I will give you three breaths to clear out. Three. Or what? Two. Defensive formation. Stubborn force. You're doomed. You're doomed. Those sex. Demon suppresses sword. Impressive. She does have some cultivation tell as she has earned the sword's approval. Tao energy. Ring spring. <laughs> Not bad. You have indeed mastered some of the power of this sword. Alex Aker, stop talking tough. So what well you got the War God Temple and the Dragon Clay on your side? You can't even withstand one move from my daughter. I bet you are scared off your wits now. <laughs> Rosalie, we're one step away from a goal. There's still time to turn back. Slay the last dragon. Your clan will still be one of us. Ah! You can't do it. None of you can bear the consequences. Alex, something dreadful is sealed inside that coffin, right? Rosalie James, how naive you are. You really believe whatever he says. It's just an old coffin. Don't tell me you think there's old zombies inside. You see this situation? Make your choice now. My great-grandfather said, A monster is sealed inside the Nine Dragon Sky Coffin. That sage with unparalleled abilities had to exert great effort to seal it. That old man was senile. Are you also out of your mind? No, I believe what he said. There must be something that shouldn't be carelessly unleashed. No, the demon is weak. I must complete the formation now. Rosley, ungrateful girl, I'll disown you if you don't slay this dragon today! Dad! Mom! Said this. Don't worry. Today I will disclaim my rebellious daughter. You have five minutes. Fail to persuade her, and I will step in. Shameless. You want to betray your clan? The Nightcrest 
sharing each other's glories and losses. Is this really necessary? But Dad, Grandfather and Great Grandfather said it's unbreakable. Silly! Are you as confused as those old men? Exactly, <laughs> Rosely. You will only doom yourself and our clan. Besides, he's utterly worthless. Why protect him like this? Henrik, slay the dragon. I'm sorry, Dad, Mom. I can't end this marriage, nor can I slay the dragon. Brat, how can you be so silly? In that case, you would just have to be doomed lovers. Nasur, it's out of my control. How does a weapon I refined obey you instead? Don't you recognize who I am? The spirit is truly his master. It must be fake. It doesn't even respond to the sect leader. How could it possibly? <coughs> this sword severed his connection with me. Back then, I refined this sword to maintain peace in the world. Only the benevolent, righteous, loyal, and clear heart can wield this sword. You think you are worthy? Yeah. Kid, stop messing around here. My clan must slay this dragon. No, Dad. My clan must slay this dragon. No, Dad. Oh no, got caught up admiring the Empress Granger. I forgot to watch this rascal. Well, Alex Yeager, all your efforts, all these dirty tricks have been for nothing. In the end, we slayed the Nine Dragons anyway. This day marks the end of the so-called destiny associated with our clan. I don't care about what means. You took the sword. Nor do I care how you conspired to sever my connection with it. But today, Dalsax had Lunamore, the master, welcome to this place. If you don't confess the truth, you will definitely face her immense wrath. You are guilty, but don't deserve death. Yet, you all must die. What kind of joke is this? We are the proud daughter of the coffin. It really opened. It really opened. No need to panic. This is just another one of his tricks. No, I sense something dangerous. <laughs> Alex, once I killed you, that name will be my alone. Cheap tricks. You're doomed. Sintis was defeated just like that? What a feast of human blood. Today, I'll rejuvenate myself with the blood of each and every one of you. Who caused the trouble must deal with it. Let me go! Don't kill me! Alex, there are all your fiancés, aren't they? Today, you will watch as I drain them dry one by one till they drop dead as payback for my millennial of suffering. Evil spirit, release my disciple! Head of Dow Sect! <laughs> Mister, there's still time to turn around. The Master Divinity from the Buddha sect! We're saved! They are the top two martial artists. No matter where you are, you won't be their match. Surrender now! <laughs> Tom, today I want you to see how easily those pinnacle crumble! Demon, I'm curious to see how tough you really are. Take this! Thank <laughs> you. 
This power is not from this world. Who are you? Who I am? Perhaps you should ask him. Forget it. You're no match for him. Let me handle this. It's okay. Well, Alex Eager, you're indeed fortunate to have so many gorgeous fiancés. Here's a choice for you. Who to kill first? Your decision. What makes you think you can kill right under my watch? Why? <laughs> because while you had me trapped in this bronze coffin for centuries, my power not only remained intact but also absorbed the ancient supreme aura, greatly enhancing my strength. I have now surpassed the great emperors, are nearing the celestial emperor level. You, hundreds of years ago, used all your power to trap me. With scarce spiritual energy here, you can't advance in cultivation. Therefore, they are no match for me. What great empire, cholesterol empire? I don't understand a word. You don't? You will understand before you die. He! Your fiancé has been the universe's most powerful emperor for millions of years, ruling the nine heavens and ten realms alone. The universe's spring empire? Though I find this guy quite annoying. It doesn't change how I view you foolish women. Do you know how many sentences and noble fairy maidens wanted to marry him? And you, mere morals, dare to end engagements and slay dragons. <laughs> no wonder His Highness can give me such profound guidance. So he is the Supreme Emperor. I thought Mr. Jaeger was a master beyond secular world. My view was too limited. He's reached the pinnacle of time and space. So, what do you say is true? Could it be that the fortune and the power of our claims were truly given by him? Why? Why didn't you tell us earlier? I told you from the beginning, but you didn't believe me. Leader, this is Aura Lion, right? No. Dalsek's ancestor developed the ultimate sword technique on Mount Kunlun, thanks to Sage's guidance. Now it seems that Sage was Jaeger. Indeed, our Buddhist sense chants originated from the Supreme Emperor. Today, Buddhist sect acknowledges you as Sage. Our Dalsek would do the same, recognizing you as the Sage. So Alex Eager stays as that high? Darling, you shouldn't have destroyed that dragon statue. How was I to know? Uh, dear, please in a good word for me. It seems grandfather and great-grandfather said it's true. <laughs> You're celebrating too soon. No matter his power, he is a dead man today. Alex, from today, I am you. With your name... I will devour Earth, conquer stars, and become the strongest ruler of this entire world! Go to hell! Go to hell! Blah! Alex, you are dead! Freeze! What? What's happened? Alex, have you advanced to a new realm as Celestial Emperor? Yes, I've transcended mortality, no longer in secular world. All right. Time to crawl back to your bronze coffin for a nap. Yeah, no way. Alex, I will return. Just wait. He managed to escape after all. He managed to escape after Your all. Highness, what should we do now? No, the escape demon may bring great disaster. It's okay. I have my ways. I've removed the memories of my identity from their minds. It's better if you know my identity, and you four keep it to yourself. Yes. Your Highness, there is another issue. Go on. In three days, an auction will take place in the lawless area known as the Black Horn Domain. The auction item is the Azure Dragon Head, a treasure artifact from Great Sha. The Azure, Azure Dragon? It has been missing for a long time. Without retrieval, the Dragon Vent will lose its guardian, causing a drop in national prosperity. It might affect the core destiny of Great Sha. Many global powers are targeting this auction, making it challenging to secure the Dragon Hat. We seek your Highness assistance for guaranteed success. Based on my calculations, the demon should be there too. Let's set off right away. <laughs> Damn Great Sha! They are to kill the Great Serpent of our Eastern Empire! I will definitely kill you all! Your furry is pointless. 
Dare trespass Eastern Sword Realm? Looking for trouble? Sword Realm? Merely a gatekeeper of the Eastern Empire. In my eyes, you're nothing but an ant. You? I know. You're after Grisha. Soon, the Black Horde domain will action their dragon head. How about we team up to screw it? You dare insult the Eastern Sword Realm? Go hell! <laughs> 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 no, that was my full power. Now, interested? Good. We will work with you. But those people are cautious. It's hard for us to infiltrate. Our opportunity lies with the Eight Class. The defeated Eight Woman will surely try everything to win. Well, it's settled. This time, all of Great Shao will bow down at my feet. Trembling! <laughs> hey, what's up? Your Highness, you didn't hide your presence after entering the domain, did you? The princess from the British Emperor, the Empress from Rome, and the female CEO of VL Group have all sent lavish gifts, and we can't stop them. I was careless <laughs> with them. How should we handle these gifts? You hold them off for me. I will deal with them until the auction ends. You'll have to hurry. Guests, today's highlight is the Azure Dragon Head of Grisha, starting at $1.5 billion. I bet $4 billion. Billion. Eight billion. My blood fiend butcher will take it. Huh? Blood fiend butcher, the king of ancestors in the world. What should we do? Great Shah's treasure is mine. <laughs> Hold on. We offer fifty billion. We offer fifty billion. Miss, are you sure? In the domain's history, there's never been a bit of 50 billion. What? You think I can afford it? No matter what, the dragon head must be secured. The James beats 80 billion. That's the max the dragon clan and the war god temple can offer. The eight clans bid 110 billion. Alex Aker, you think those few powers can help you secure it? You're mistaken. The world is vast, and even the Dalsek is just a dominant force with Great Sha. There are many forces in the world that can surpass it. So what? You are bound to lose now. In that case, I bid 150 billion. What? Alex, the 80 billion just now was all I could muster. I... It's fine. Trust me. Alex Eager, have you lost your mind? How can you pay 150 billion? Alex Eager, even the world's top financial groups can't pay that much. How dare you spell that nonsense? Your lies are no longer effective. Do you understand what that number means? Your words reveal your arrogance and foolishness. Give it a rest, Alex. It isn't a great Sha. Where your dishonorable tactics are tolerated. You're right. By calling off the marriage, you made us lose face throughout the entire East province. Today, it's time for you to pay the price. Well... Then I want to see what your final hint is. Let them through and tell them I'm at the auction. Give them two minutes to get here with their gifts. Go on. Keep pretending. You really don't know when to quit. I'm curious to see what tricks you can play. It seems like you really could summon the famous female leaders worldwide. I think you're right. Stop flattering yourself. With your background, a decedent of Charlton, you're destined to be exposed and die here today. No one here could possibly outbeat us, the egg cleans, right? Just bound the gavel. Two minutes. All right. The British Empire's princess, Irena, presents the Kahinor. The British Empire's princess, Irena, presents the Kahinor. Koinor? The world's number one ring super diamond has been part of the crown jewels for hundreds of years. Who is she presenting it to? Well, my family 
is allied with them. This must be intent for me. The CEO of a Beal Group offers 90% of the company shares. This princess diamond is already precious enough, but this VL Group is a multinational giant worth billions. Who are these gifts for, exactly? I'm not sure. Rome Empress offers 30 coastal city status to the recipient. This is terrifying. Three women at the pinnacle of wealth and power have simultaneously sent gifts. This is not coincidence. Exactly. Especially the 30 city-states gifted by the Roman Empress. What kind of gesture is that? It's making someone an emperor! All these gifts combined are worth several billion dollars. Who exactly are they for? I once closely worked with VL Group. Their CEO must admire my talent intended to entrust me with the entire group. I, Blood Fiend Butcher, once complete a mission for the Empress, I think. She still recalls my dashing and heroic figure, thus inviting me to establish the Roma Empire with her. <laughs> Goodness, I thought these gifts were really for that brat. Mr. Alex Eager, this is the gift from the Roman Empress. What? Hey, you must be mistaken. How could such priceless gifts be for a disrespectful rascal? Exactly! There must be a mistake. The Roman Empress should be appreciating him instead. We are following the orders of the Empress. It's for Mr. Eager. The British Prince is personally instructed to present the gift to Alex Eager. CEO and I have stated that only Alex Eager is entitled to inherit these shares. What? Impossible! Our dear son-in-law is truly remarkable. Thank you. Put them here. From now on, I'll invest these assets in the James clan. Now, to those here, in the James clan qualified to bid for this dragon head, anyone wants to compete with the James clan? How could this happen? With Eastern Sword Realm funds, that's all we can master. Now with his hundreds of billions, we simply can't compete. Looks like it's time for Plan B. You sure? Going forward, our reputation will be destroyed. Is it? Haven't we lost enough already? Everything the eight clans built over the years has been destroyed by that man. I won't rest until he's ruined. But Chloe is right. Now we can only kill them all. As for what to do when we get out, it's up to us to decide. Then it has to be this one. Just wait. Soon you'll meet your end. Auctioneer, since no one else is bidding, can we declare the result now? Okay, I announce the owner of this dragon hat is... Hold on! Finally. My will will take this dragon hat! <laughs> Easter Empire, why are you here? Beauty, this is Blackhorn Domain, not Britsha. Why can't I be here? Do you know who I am? What does that have to do with us? Voila! You should know that Sir Kadema is the sole heir to the Eastern Sword Realm. Speaking to him in such a manner is disrespecting the Eastern Sword Realm. Yeah. The Eastern Sword Realm? Let me... Make this clear today. In this world, the Eastern Sword Realm can get anything it desires. The British Princess, Roman Empress, or some giant CEO all must make way for Eastern Sword Realm. Rosely. Rosely. That realm sounds like a pig farm to me. Bagiana! How dare you insult my lord? Believe it or not, I, Itaka Inoshita, could slay you! <laughs> you are Inoshita. You are Komenda. You surely come from a livestock farm. You want a gruesome death by Inoshita's blade! Inoshita. 
That realm is the oldest power in the Eastern Empire, said to have the power to turn the entire empire upside down. They say Inoshita in front of you. <laughs> Yutaka Inoshita, yes, it, yes, it's top swordsman. So, what are these little brats up to over here? I have no idea. Tell you, all of you, I and us, this side belongs to Kameda Kojiro. So, my realm will give you a chance to submit, or you will die the most gruesome death. And you, low life. From Grisha, you are quite attractive. I permit you to be one of my concubines. As long as you serve me well, I'll make it worth your while. What? <laughs> as long as you submit, I'll give you more resources than you can imagine. Come here, read the world with me. Each of these swords is a masterpiece of my realm. Rivals the world's finest swords. Step forward, bow deeply at 90 degrees to me, and shall long live the realm. Then you will receive a supreme and match the sword. Hmm. <laughs> just because you are the realm higher doesn't mean you will just obey. Dream on. Our kingdom won't do that. Right. Don't you dare insult us. I, Bloodfiend Butcher, the king of the Western Dark World, I shall kill you to stop your nonsense! Here! Mr. Yenoshita, your turn! Don't worry, in this world, no one can withstand my strike! Hatsuki! These three were the country's top fighters, yet they couldn't even withstand a strike from him! He's invincible! Now, I'll give you ten seconds. In ten, anyone not submitting will face death! Alex, what should we do now? It's fine. I want to see what other schemes they have. Lord Kameda, our eight clans will submit. Good! Swords! Come this way. Two countries have submitted. The rest of you, come and bow to your master! Don't even think about it. As a citizen of Great Shah, I would never submit to a rascal like you! Please! That's right. Not everyone from Great Sha is as weak-willed as they are. And great for wretches! Inoshita, take action! Let these damn people witness the technique of the Eastern Empire! Yosh, leave it to me. Poor Great Sha. Up next, you will learn what true terror is. Over a decade, no one has been able to withstand a strike from Itaka! This time, you're all doomed! What? He caught a strike? From the top of the Eastern Sword Realm? Are you dark, huh? I'm the master of the realm, a rare genius among the warrior world in the entire Eastern Empire. How could I possibly lose a brat of great shock? Yeah. <sighs> Today, you will witness my true ability, Twin Swords! Yeah. Your ability in my eyes doesn't even have enough power to scratch an itch. Kill him? Dare you! I dare will! Offenders shall be... executed! <laughs> Stay away! This poison is not from Earth. You're controlled by the demon. Alex, a surprise, right? I crafted this powder using a toxic herb from the Forbidden Zone. Once infected, 
All power lost. Even Celestial Emperor couldn't escape. <laughs> Alex, as I said, I will take your place. This is the end for you. No wonder the woman from the Eight Clans suddenly started provoking me, and these Eastern Empire folks suddenly showed up to challenge the Great Shah. You are the one behind all this. I am. So what? Once you die, I will take over Dalsek, Wurgat Temple, and even the Great Shah. Through the world. And they made the right choice. I will lead everyone to rule the world. <laughs> How are you so sure I lost my power? You can't use your power unless you. What? How? Mm -hmm. How? Even Celestial Emperor can't escape my power. What level have you reached? I achieved that rank hundreds of years ago. Now I am Supreme Emperor. The Celestial Demo is gone. Kneel down! Help me. Spare me. <laughs> Kneel down! I don't want to repeat it. Spare me! Kneel down! I don't want to repeat it. Didn't you see His Highness' strength? If you don't need, my realm will kill you right now! Spare me, I kneel! Regardless of your origin, I want to tell you the Great Shah is no longer a slumbering lion. Nor is it a defenseless sheep. Dare provoke us. A grim fate awaits you. Rosalie, start the global broadcast. Now, in front of the entire world, you will kneel and apologize to Gracia and his people. Or, I wouldn't mind sending you to hell to meet your ancestors. I apologize. I come at that. Offended. Grisha. Sorry. I know my mistake. And apologize to you. Not enough. Not enough. He is the Empire. He's sorry. I was wrong. I deserve this. Go! And the Ape Clans, you bunch of ungrateful, crucial hard traitors! Soon, I will send you to the military court, where you will be severely punished by law. The legacy your ancestors built is destroyed by you. Alex! I was wrong. Please, give me another chance. Please! Please don't destroy our clan. Alex, I will do anything. Please forgive me. Alex, I was wrong. I promised to behave. Give us another chance. This is all Alex, our fault. Alex, forgive me, please. Leave. Traders don't deserve a second chance. Guards! Send them to jail. No! Alex, Alex! From today, Dragon Hands, Great Shots! Good. Alex, thank you so much. Without you, the consequences of it falling into the wrong hands would have been dire. Will you share this honor with me? My honor. <laughs> 